Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. We left off last time. On the verge of winning, could it possibly be? Our first war against the Ilkhanate. Not our first war, but uh, on the verge of our first victory against the Ilkhanate. First, and given the year, possibly the last. Um, so let's unpause it and get right back into it here. What we're doing right now is sieging some territories here in Anatolia and receiving a few up here uh, just east of Poland. And we have uh, won every battle in this war so far. Oh, and we're sieging Constantinople, although my understanding now, after a comment from uh, Harry, who's been watching, I think from the very beginning, a faithful viewer, he was telling me that uh, I lost Constantinople because when you're conducting an offensive holy war, you can gain the territories that you um, hold when the war is over. If you're waging a defensive holy war, which we are, you can't gain the territories which you're holding. So I will, even if I were to hold Constantinople, I would not um, gain possession of it when the war is over. Victory in the Siege of Ergli, war score is 91. Victory in the Siege of Bielsk, war score is 96. Oh man, we're so tantalizingly close. Victory in the Siege of Gallic. The war score is 100%. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And force demands. Ha, <laughs> ha. Oh, man, this feels so good. Finally. God, how many wars have we fought against the Elkanate? We lost Hungary. We lost the Holy Land. Did we lose something else, too? I feel like we lost something else at some point. <sighs> but now... Finally, a victory. He must surrender. The Mongol invasion of Greece has ended. Kaiser Eganolf of the Holy Roman Empire won. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Mark this day, the 18th of March, 1431. We, the forces of the Holy Roman Empire, are victorious. That is pretty rad. You guys can go home. You guys can march there, and then you'll go home. You guys can march there, and you guys can march there. Whee! Yay! So we got a prestige bump there. I think we gained 400 from winning that war. Child lacks a focus, eh? Dietrich. This is my grandson, right? Yes. He has no traits of his own. He has a base intrigue of two. That's his highest skill. Though none of these affect intrigue. Um, well, let's pick one of these. Let's pick duty. Plus one to stewardship. What does this give us? Plus one to learning. Plus one to stu Oh, that could be even better. Okay, let's do it. Thrift. My liege. Loyal servants such as I... Oh, God. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we've been saying no to everybody that's asked us this question. This greed does not become you, old boy. Sorry. Okay, you guys can all go home. Except for my retinue, of course. Ooh, I forget which one of you guys is my retinue. That one. can march back here. Stand by, stand by, stand by. Everyone can go home, including the Holy Orders, even. Oh, yay. Man, I'm so happy that we won a war, finally, against the Ilkhanate. That's great. Okay, what were we looking at here? <clears throat> I am pleased to hear that after a peace, uh, period of peace and shrewd management... County of Bar is doing very well. People are happy. And the tax collectors are reporting record intakes. Bar prospers. That's very good. Uh, I'm a little low on gold, so we'll let the treasury build up a little bit 
after the war has ended here, before we um, spend any <laughs> That one disappeared as soon as it showed up. Uh, before we spend any money. French Revolt. Hmm. What else we got to do? Eganol's still kicking. The Hunter. I've also had it advised to me, I think again by Harry, that uh, this whole white stag issue, uh, when you have Hunter as your focus, or rather as your, when you're known as a Hunter perhaps, you can't catch the white stag, um, because catching the white stag is how you get the Hunter trait in the first place perhaps? Uh, I am I'm not uh, an expert here, so don't quote me on it, but I am understanding that I cannot catch the white stag, and that's why I failed so many times in a row. But that makes for a good story, I think, in a way. Strong, strong claim on all of the Holy Land. Oh, it's so sad. I shouldn't. I shouldn't even bother considering trying to take back the Holy Land, right? That would be an insane thought. It occurred to me just now, but... A daughter was born to Ambroglio, uh, Ambrogio de Limoges and Princess, Princess Gertrude, who is my... Uh, no, not my heir, sorry. Gertrude is my second daughter. But she is married matrilineally. <clears throat> Named Beatrix. So this is her s first child. Okay, congratulations, uh, Gertrude and Ambrogio. Ambrogio, whatever. Oh, dear. She has the lover's pox. Probably because she's adulterous. She's not lustful, though. That's odd. Uh, meanwhile, though, Ida is a model daughter. She has two sons, both Chatenois. She has a daughter. And she doesn't have lover's pox, though she is paranoid. Like her old man once was, right? I'm not paranoid anymore. Did I lose it? Yeah, I lost it. Though I am still cruel, wroth, envious, greedy, <laughs> and arbitrary. God, I'm such a dick. The only thing I have going for me is I'm strong, and uh, I'm a tough soldier, pretty much. That's it. My god, why am I running such a high deficit here? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What in the crap is going on here? I was waiting for my gold to build up, but it's not. Shouldn't it have gone back up after I sent all the soldiers home? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hmm. Um, I'm not paying anybody. I'm paying my retinue, of course, but that's 150. My god. That's my entire expense. My retinue didn't cost more than I was pulling in before the war. Why is it so high now? Or rather, why is my income so much less? Um, I don't get it. I don't know. I have no hired mercenaries. I mean, I, I don't know why I'm looking at this. I know it's my, my retinue. I'm wondering if my income has dropped. Everybody loves the Pope more than me, is that why? Can't be the only thing, can it?
Holy shit. Hmm. Well, okay, I'm looking at this. I'm getting a penalty for oversized domain. That's understandable. This isn't listing everybody. It's not... There's a little ellipses down there at the bottom, and I don't know how to see the rest of it. I'm assuming I'm getting a penalty there, too. No penalty from the city tax. I'm not getting any church money, though. Uh... Why the fuck is that so expensive? Oh, they're set to reinforce at maximum speed. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's super expensive right now because I'm reinforcing. That's why. I'm reinforcing because the war is over. I bet within two months this will be complete and it won't cost me as much money. Let's wait it out and see. We can make it three months on this deficit. So let's let's just wait. Once you guys are fully reinforced. Which should be Oh, we're already through a year. Holy cow. You know what? Fuck it, just do half. I don't need them to reinforce completely. Okay, so I'll still have a monthly deficit, but much less. That's what it was. It was because I was reinforcing a depleted retinue, and it was just spending money left and right. Very soon, I won't have that expense, right? That's what I'm hoping, once it's completely reinforced. Actually, it's going to take the archers a while, isn't it? They're a thousand short. Otherwise, everyone's very close. Oh, what else do we have happening right now? The Zikri faith triumphant. The adherents of the Sunni faith have steadily dwindled to the point where Zikri believers are in the majority. This new state of affairs has reduced the Sunni faith to a de facto heresy. Oh my god. All former Sunni holy orders are now Zikri. Bickering of fools does not concern me. Holy crap, though, historically speaking, that's a huge development. So the Fatimids were Sunni, right? No, they're Shia. Fatimids are Shia? So who's still Sunni? The Ilkhanate's not Sunni. They're Tengri. Maybe that's why it changed. Maybe it's there's so few Sunnis left that it was very easy. Ah, so it's basically just the Seljuks. And apparently the majority of the Seljuks have converted to Zikri, I'm guessing? That's just weird because you think uh, real life are our universe. Um... Sunni is the dominant form of Islam, and has been for hundreds of years. Not in this universe. Okay, how am I doing now? Yeah, there we go, monthly balance increase, okay. Should still be, though, better than that, right? Nope, we're still reinforcing. Still reinforcing. My liege, during my mission to Paris, uh, my mission to Paris has so far been a success. During my visit to the court of King Gilbert of France, Gilbert II, I seem to have managed to make him understand what a benevolent and peaceful ruler you really are, and he sends his regards. Your humble chancellor, Count Lodovico. Well done, Lodovico. Is there some place else that we could be using you better? Whoops. The Duke of Bohemia, perhaps. Where are you sitting, sir? You're sitting here. Lodovico. I have a new job for you. You are now there. 
who are you talking to? You're in bar. God, okay. Hurry up, dude. You have a lot of work to do, because nobody likes me more than the Pope right now, amongst bishops, anyway. Gosh, I'm just so I'm so tantalizingly close to the end of this LP. It's strange. This LP has been going on so long that I Oh my god. What the hell? Lodovico, what happened? He's gone. Oh my god, I have such lousy options. to Ludovico, but he's gone. Noble to court. Will this be for... Um, oh, I need 213 gold. I can't even do that. Doesn't have a character modifier secluded so with courtiers. Um, steward. Okay, so that's not even a uh, potential chancellor. It's just a steward. Young noblewoman. No, so there is no, hey, invite a chancellor to court option. Damn. I have to go with what I have. That sucks. Because I have crap. Uh, well, I have the chance to add a powerful vassal, which will remove his anger for not being on the council, which is negative 40. Um, and he will be a glory hound, which is not something that I hate. Although he could end up being a malcontent. That's also very close to the top there. Currently my council has one malcontent. I'd rather not add another. Well, let's take a chance, because what are my other options, right? Other options are a zealot. A pragmatist. Who's also very close to being a zealot and a glory hound. Oh dear. Ooh. I do have this loyalist. Um. Hmm. Who is only one point removed from the best character for it. Uh, the only thing that I would lose is I'll, he'll still have this negative 40 because he's not on the council. But I'm tempted. Not that I'm going to need it at this point in the game to have a loyalist on the council because I'm probably not going to be making any major decisions to change things this late. Uh, but it's kind of nice, theoretically, to have. Oh, who am I kidding? What the fuck? Just throw this guy on there. It's fine. And he's still a glory hound. That's good. You can no longer lead troops, though. I'm sorry about that. Yes, I know you're idle. You're going back up here to... Where is it? There you are. Lead rates. Damn. Duke of Bavaria, Duke of Brunswick, Duke of, Duke of Colon. You have quite a lot of territory, don't you? He's spread out, but that's by design on my part. Hmm. Okay, I don't know why I'm wasting my time looking at this guy. I don't care. Hmm. I think that's the last time we'll have to face off against the Ilkenate. I doubt it. I bet you 
money that they will come for Greece again at some point. My wife, Kaiserine Toda, has not been herself lately. I have noticed how she has lost weight and been overcome by episodes of intense fatigue. Apparently the underlying cause is cancerous growth which is sucking the life out of her. Oh no! I don't think that I've been that crazy about my wife. But I no longer hate her like I used to. Man. Um, God, what would I do? I don't hate her. But I don't love her. But, I mean, she is the mother of my children. I don't think I could really just ignore it. You know what I'll do? I'll make it a weighted decision here. Rolling a... Mm. You know what? The ten-sided die is on top, so I'm just going to roll the ten-sided die. Going into my little container of dice. Um, I will say a one through a three. Uh, sickness and death awaits us all. Stop pestering me. A four through a ten. Call for my court physician at once. It's an eight. Call for my court physician at once. I don't love my wife, but I do respect her, and she's the mother of my children. I should probably try to take care of her. Who's my court physician anyway? I forgot. Duke Thietmar the Cruel. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. <laughs> cruel Duke is my court physician. That's just great. Well, anyway. We'll see what comes of that. Okay, so now my retinue has to be fully, yeah, fully reinforced. Indeed, it... Oh, it almost is. No, it's not yet. Good grief. It still has a ways to go. Little ways to go. I can't stop thinking of all those prisoners in my dungeon. They are at my complete mercy. What a thrill it would be to hurt them, to hear the sweet screams, to see the panic in their eyes. I have nothing that would lead me toward being kind. I only have wrath uh, and cruel. So, yes, I'm going to be a dick. Guards, oil up the rack. Oh, jeez. Hi, Chief Urtikin. I forgot that I even had these dudes in here. I could probably ransom him off for a really high, well, 145 gold. Okay. Hundred and forty five is pretty good. What would Redbot pay? Redbot would pay twenty five to get himself out of jail. Eh. I'm going to torture the man. Apparently, the wrath and cruel overcomes the greed. Bum, ba, ba, bum, bum, bum. You know, I have uh, added Crusader Kings 2 music to both my Skyrim and my Oblivion Let's Plays. And as a result now, whenever I hear most Crusader Kings 2 music, in Crusader Kings 2, it reminds me of Oblivion and Skyrim, which is a little ironic. Like, I distinctly have memories of traipsing over landscape in Oblivion while this song was playing. Young Vahida has finished her education in diplomacy. It seems she has learned all the basic skills required. Who the hell is this kid? And why do I care? Huh? She's the daughter of the Queen of France. She's not a princess, though, right? No, she's just my courtier. Ah. Because she had a previous husband with whom she had her daughter, Vahida. Her half-brother is Prince Jasper. Whose father is the King of France. Okay. I remember this. I remember you getting married and me wondering why the hell... No, not you. I remember her getting married and me wondering why the hell the King of France was even interested. 
Um, she's this young girl still has my court. Well, very good, I guess. Underhanded rogue. Why do I care about this? I don't know. I'm not following this girl. She's Tengri. My God. Can I force a conversion? Demand it. Eh, she'll say no. Well, I don't care that much, do I? She's... Oh, in seclusion. I was going to say, why is she in prison? But she's not. Is she ta She is Tangri. My god, King. You should probably have her converted. What's going on? What's going on? We got anything going on? Any raiders or anything I need to take care of? None on the horizon. The Great Holy War for Malwa. The Great Holy for War for Malwa against Maharaja Trilokyarvarman II of Malwa has come to an end as he has been overthrown. The pagan faithful will be disappointed. This means absolutely nothing to me. I don't know who these people are or what we're talking about. Looks like uh, India. That's my guess. Cursed infidels. Sure. I imagine the herald that came in to tell me about that was like, uh, look, Emperor, I don't really know if you want to hear about this, but here, I've been told to tell you this. Holy cow, what's Poland doing all of a sudden? Poland, what are you about now? Where is Poland? Where's my king of Poland? You at war with somebody? Oh my god! He can do that? He's attacking the Byzantines for... For Zavitros. No, Nitra. Nitra, right here. Oh my god! Well, good luck, man. I didn't know that they could do that. I don't think they used to be able to do that. Maybe a patch has changed things, but I don't think my vassals used to be able to declare war on foreign powers, independent of me doing so. It's a bit surprising. <gasps> Excuse me, a bit surprising. Um, you just recently became the king, didn't you? Berengar must have just died. 1421. Oh no, so he died a while ago. Okay. But you've just come of age. You, sir. You're only 16. So that's why this war started up right now, and it's also why suddenly you hate me, because you think you should be on the council and you're not. Seduction focus. <laughs> oh, he's inbred. God, he sucks. Oh, thank God. Thank God I don't have him as an heir. Can you imagine? I mean, I've had some pretty crappy heirs, but can you imagine handing off your kingdom to that bloke? 